Hi there, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Ray and I'm a technology consultant. Today I'm going to be talking about Asana and Airtable and how they can both be used to manage your projects. I get a lot of questions about Asana and Airtable, uh, but one of the most popular ones that's come up recently is which system should I be using to manage my projects? And projects in this case can be programs of work, tasks, or just the individual projects themselves. There doesn't seem to be much on YouTube in terms of answering this question. One particular YouTuber uh, kind of did the review and said basically Airtable is too hard, so you should use Asana. So I didn't really think that was fair. I'm just going to give you a brief overview of a project in both Asana and Airtable and give you some understanding of the details behind it, the views and so on. I'm sure there will be detailed questions that potentially come out of it, so please uh, stick your questions and comments in the uh, space below and I will do my best to answer them. At the end of the video, I will summarize why I think you should use either of the systems, Asana or Airtable, uh, and some of the benefits and some of the things you may want to consider, so stick with it to the end. So, here we have an example project inside uh, Asana. Uh, it's just a sample project. Uh, I have some of the tasks in here completed. Some are not, and not all of the details are here. And then within Asana, I have the same project. So what I've done is I've just done an export. Uh, so export uh, out of Asana and just uh, brought the very same items back into Airtable. So the project is essentially the same. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through some of these views here in terms of generally when you open Asana you get the list view and just looking at this particular task uh, we can see that it has subtasks within it uh, we can see that it's due on the 29th of May 2020 last year uh, and there are some various custom fields and a description and so on but looking at Airtable, we can also see that we have the same ability to view individual, uh, individual tasks in exactly the same way. So we can see the instruction, the, sorry, the section, who it's assigned to, its current status, uh, start dates, due dates, and so on and so forth. And essentially, any any field you want to uh, reproduce uh, can be done. It's just simply a case of adding a new field to uh, Airtable. So very, very similar in terms of the, the grid or list view uh, between Asana and Airtable. Seeing the details in both is quite easy. So. Then we move on to what is popular in terms of uh, those people moving from Trello is the, what's referred to as the board view in Asana, uh, essentially a Kanban board. Uh, you could just as easy have, you know, doing uh, in, in your backlog, doing and done in very similar way. And again, you can just open up the details in the same way as you can in a list view. That, not surprisingly, is exactly the same in Airtable. Uh, again, I've got these to do in progress and done. It's the same project. I've just changed the column view. And that maybe that's one of the interesting things is you, you, know, you can move things around in exactly the same way in Airtable as you can in Asana. There's no real difference to the board view if you wanted to open the details you can open the details of any of the individual tasks and you have all of the details available in a very similar way that you have the details available within Asana. So no real difference there in terms of the Kanban or board view. 
Next in Asana we have the timeline. Uh, let me just move this over to try and get some of the dates in. I can't remember where I put my dates in here. Oh, here we are. Uh, so again, <laughs> this is kind of a bit incomplete, uh, but I can expand out these tasks within uh, the timeline view. Uh, not surprisingly, it's exactly the same inside Airtable. Uh, I've called it the Gantt view because uh, too many years of doing project management. Uh, it's also the timeline. You can call it whatever you desire. And Similarly, we see exactly the same thing. It's almost identical in Airtable as it is in Asana. Uh, the next one, really, and, and these views, I think it's, it's, you know, they're all available to all users. It's just a case of, you know, which one do I prefer um, in terms of just looking at my uh, tasks. The next one we have is the calendar view. Uh, gosh, I don't know where I put my tasks in here. Uh, I'm not sure I have any tasks in here at all, or whether they haven't got dates. Uh, no, I probably haven't got any dates in here, or the years out. Uh, but just forgive me, and just imagine that it would probably look something very similar to this view within Airtable, where you know, each item has a date. Uh, some of these things are running over more than one day. Uh, you can change it to week view, day view, and so on. And uh, uh, I'm pretty certain that you can change this. Also within Asana, uh, so t I've got today. Uh, ah, that's interesting. So I can't put a spread of dates within Asana, but I can choose the months and so on. Uh, so some slight differences there, uh, but you'll notice here that you can turn weekends off in Asana. Uh, potentially, you could create a formula to remove certain dates, or you could filter by removing the weekend, uh, or using a date range on the calendar view within Airtable. Uh, Okay, so essentially that's the views. There is, of course, the form for getting data into each of these systems. So if I want to create a task within a project, I can add it within this form and it will appear within the uh, project itself. You know, you can attach files, you can put in dates. Uh, not surprisingly, uh, we have pretty much the identical function. Um, you know, you can drag pieces from uh, the selection on the side, and then when you sit, uh, hit submit, it will end up in that particular project. So again, pretty much identical in terms of the applications themselves. So one of the areas that is fairly recent to Asana within the last year or so is, is people wanted to add more fields uh, within their Asana. So uh, there's, there's a whole number of uh, items. So you can have drop down boxes, text, you know, good for selecting uh, teams or individuals or whether there's a category or priority within your tasks or even whether there's a, a currency uh, available for each of the individual tasks. So, you know, ideal for materials or costs or whatever. Uh, this is this is relatively new. This choose from library, uh, where you can save a particular uh, data type and describe it as something. So you can. Uh, this is for my agency setup. Is I could add a specific field and it will go in my library and I could reuse it within uh, projects uh, or programs. For Airtable, uh, if we look at this. Uh, this really is where Airtable excels because basically to add another field, you just create a field type and you can have anything whatsoever. This is the real power, I think, of Airtable. Um, and what's really, really interesting is, you know, numbers, currencies, percentages, rating, but the, probably the most powerful one uh, is the formula. 
Uh, and the formula is just not yet available within Asana. So I think in my sample here, uh, I think I created some items that had, yeah, so here, for example, uh, I, put, I put staff costs and material costs and then put a total. Uh, this formula here is just a simple addition, but actually you can have uh, really, really complex formulas and complex formulas that bring in data from other tables. Um, the power, this is really where the power of Airtable is. And, and I'll talk about some of the uh, benefits of using Airtable over Asana at the end of the video. So one of the f other pieces here where actually I think Asana excels over um, Airtable though I think with a little bit of work you could get Airtable to do this, is, is this dashboard. Um, if you're the project manager or you're a manager managing multiple projects, um, if you're team lead or so on, you can kind of see the overall summary of your project. Um, we also get the same sort of thing in the overview where you can add in your milestones, you can create a project brief, uh, you can add project roles, and there's this tracking status, you know, so you can report at the end of the week, whether it's on track, at risk, off track, and so on. So I think a combination of the overview and the dashboard uh, kind of give you the majority of the essential reporting tools. Um, I've not found them particularly useful, uh, mainly because some of the clients that I want want baseline versus current and, and things that are more complex and I don't think Asana really has got there yet. Um, but you know the basic dashboard and overview I think will give the majority of people what they want. Uh, for Airtable of course this isn't available in the kind of standard uh, views. However, in the, the apps piece of this, so the apps piece is, is kind of another piece of functionality that, that allows you to do things with the data. Um, this is a, probably a whole nother video uh, in itself, but you can use the data within Airtable to create pivot tables, to do page designs. This is probably what I would use for reporting. Uh, there are some video tutorials, you can create invoices, you know, the, the, the list is endless. Essentially, you create the template of the document you want and then you fill it with the data that you have in your, uh, in your database. So here is an alternative to the reporting, which is potentially a little more powerful than that inside Airtable. So on to the next. Um, within Airtable, one of the, the most often used is this My Tasks section, where essentially here's all the tasks that are assigned to me. In Airtable, it's slightly different. Uh, what all I've done is uh, I've taken this grid view and added a filter. So within the filter, uh, where the assignee is Joe Bloggs. So that is essentially my tasks if I were Joe Bloggs. Um, and you could create multiple views and you could have individual users create their own view. Uh, so I think probably you're gonna get the same functionality uh, out of this as you would. It's just a filter, essentially. And you could also filter by you know tasks for Joe Bloggs that are, are due in the next week. Um, so Airtable potentially more powerful here. Uh, so, essentially there's a lot of similarities, but there are some things that are very different. Um, and, and I think, you know, using either system, you can essentially get what you want. So, on top of this, there is integration. So, how do I connect Asana and Airtable to other systems? So, my CRM system, so I already have another video on connecting my CRM into Asana and Airtable. 
Um, you can connect in, you can connect out, so transferring data into these applications and then transferring data out of these applications. Both systems have APIs, which means you can connect them to a huge suite of applications using Zapier. Asana has integration out of the box with Harvest time tracking, so if you wanted to track time. Harvest is a little bit clunky as far as I'm concerned, it's a very manual, but it's built in to Asana, so if you're using Harvest already, it uh, makes life easier. Um, they all also have links to adding files in Google storage, uh, Google Drive storage, Dropbox, and some of the more popular uh, online storage applications. So instead of having to upload files into it, you just provide links. So in summary, this was a very brief overview and comparison of Asana and Airtable. What's really important is there are some very large organizations, so with, with multiple teams, multiple programs, and in some cases I've seen across the globe in terms of their program management, and they all work perfectly. So organizations are using these systems as is. Um, you can see that there are customizations. A lot of the issues really are in setting them both up correctly to work to support your business. So which one should you use? Uh, so I think if you want something that works primarily out of the box, you really don't want to go up to the learning curve of Airtable, you should potentially look at Asana. Airtable, on the other hand, is a more configurable database. So the learning curve is a bit steeper but as you can see, it's a lot more powerful. The use of those formulas, there are multiple potential uh, views in terms of that database. You could add in additional data, particularly if you're looking at something like uh, inventory or weights and measures, or uh, you sell custom products by sizing or weighting or something like that, and you're already using another database for this. You could potentially combine Airtable and your database so I hope that was helpful. Uh, if it was, please hit the like button below. Uh, please add in your comments uh, and questions if you have them, and I will do my best to answer any detailed questions that come after this. And finally, if you enjoyed the content here and it added value, please, I'd love it if you would hit subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of additional videos that I produce. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video.